Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and today I was actually going to do a video discussing the wrongs about feminism and all that stuff. Until I actually did some research on the internet. And then I realized that toxic masculinity is destroying the world we live in now. And you know what's worse? The worst is the media. But you know, I haven't been alive for all that time, all those centuries, to be able to actually speak to you about people who were born before me. So let's look back under the 70s, late 70s to be exact. Women on movies, what were they seen at? They're always seen as the weakling, the damsel in distress, and someone that couldn't hold their own fight. And do you think anybody would accept the woman to have like a great plan to save the heroes? That would be ludicrous back then. It's a great time for rock and roll and changes, but still, we saw the same thing happening. I mean, women had no place. The idea in Hollywood of a woman having a character arc that was going to make her come from, from a weak person to the main focus of a story, that would never happen. A female hero, even less. Because you guys know, only men are actually strong enough to carry the big guns. And you know what? Look at the 90s. Women could not hold their own. They were never equal to men, much less be stronger than a man. That, that just would not be accepted. And that was in Hollywood, that was on television, everywhere. Women were just not good enough to do anything a man could do. But you know what? And then came the 2000s, and what do we think, you know, with high predicaments, usually change happen in humankind. And what would we think? We would think, we had Y2K, we had September 11. We should expect a major change to happen 
in the world. And did it happen? No. The same thing. Not even one strong female lead. A hero? That would be something that we wouldn't see for at least one more day. And the worst part, even if they're to give a female any potential lead that could make them the hero of the story, it probably would be shut down after the first episode. Ah, but finally, finally, the teens came in. 2010 and beyond, and we saw finally change. We saw a new movement, a new feminist movement pushing television, pushing Hollywood to actually treat women as equals as men, giving women strong roles. But you know, the thing is, they actually set the example. They didn't treat men as men had treated them, as below them. Fuel consumption is a very limited amount of time that we can stay out of range of those dark stars. Very kind of you to make me aware. We need to shake them before we can find a new base, so what's our plan? Our plan? Captain? Not command, right? Wasn't it Leia's last official act to demote you for your dreadnought plan? It's someone that is just scared. I shot the Gabardia! or a sexual object. No, they knew better. They considered men just as smart as they were. They could trust men to make their decisions. And just like every single hero on the stories, women also had to prove that they were as strong and they had this huge character arc and they had this huge character arc, just like Luke Skywalker and all those other characters. And when a man would give a woman a compliment, she would take that in the highest type of way, different than what men would do today. I did, I did my stunts because I thought that that's what everyone did. I did, I did my stunts because I thought that that's what everyone did. I did, I did my stunts because I thought that that's what everyone did. Okay, and then... Tom, Tom Cruise over here? No, I'll be the first me, not the next Tom Cruise thing. So, for all feminists out there, I raise a glass to you, man. As long as it doesn't offend you. And I thank you for treating me exactly how you want to be treated. Alright guys, now, all seriousness, I am not against the feminist movement. Um, the truth is, I'm against some feminists. And the problem is, a lot of them have a voice in the world and they're the people running, you know, Star Wars and things like this. But you see, the problem I have with that is, I really don't think they realize what they're doing to the movement. You see, over 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I would, I would hear about feminists and I would be like, hey, that's a good thing. You know what? Women should have the same rights as men. And then the last few years happened and it became to the point that me, just like most men and even a lot of women, the moment you hear the word feminism, you just go the other way. And the reason is, Feminists today, and I will not use that expression because I actually use that expression. I'm going to use an expression that even some feminists use. They're feminists. 
No problem with that. If I was part of any movement that me or others would compare me to Nazis, I probably would be scared. And trust me, I went to war, I don't scare that easy. But I would probably be worried. I would probably start rethinking my choices. And I think that's why a lot of women who used to be very influential on the feminist movement start walking away. And you know what the problem is? Feminists become a trend. Feminists stop being that ideal that women have. And I, by no means I, I'm saying that no women still have that mentality. What I'm saying is a lot of people, a lot of influential people, influencers, or whatever they want to be called, that's how they see things. They don't even need to believe. They use that as a defense mechanism a lot of times. For example, if I say something that a woman disagrees, a lot of times she's going to say that I'm mansplaining or that's just my toxic masculinity speaking. And trust me, I have a video coming up that's going to really talk about mansplaining and women's planning, but it's, so it's not the moment right now. But seriously, guys, I think we're doing a huge disservice to ourselves, men and women. And the main reason for that is we both have our strengths. Men have their strengths and women have their strengths. And I'm definitely not saying that women's strengths are, you know, cooking and taking care of the kids. No, I'm not saying that. But I think we're forgetting about that. And we're starting to really separate our own race in two sides. Women and men. When the whole point of the movement was to join both of them and become one, having the same rights and everything. So, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just a toxic, patriarch, chauvinistic male full of toxicity that don't know what he's talking about. Maybe I'm right. But see, I do believe you should actually have both sides of the spectrum. You should understand both sides and listen to them. But you know what? If you agree or disagree, just leave a comment below. I'll make sure to answer any questions or any comments. Unless that's a stupid comment. Those are just completely ignored. So like I said, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be seeing you in a couple of days. I hope you all take care. Have a great Friday. Enjoy. You got drunk? I don't know. I probably would. Take care, guys.